Hey guys, it's been a while since we saw you um, and we haven't filmed in over seven months. Uh, but a lot's been going on here at Severios since uh, March. Um, the first big thing that has come around um, during COVID is our Detroit style pizza. So we were gonna go to California after the holidays last year to take a class with Tony Gimignani. Um, so I had it all set up, was booking flights, ready to go to San Francisco, and really pumped to learn how to make awesome kick-ass Detroit style pizza. But then COVID hit and our plans shifted, uh, so I bought the book instead. And Sam and I were in the kitchen um, because we had to quarantine the store for two weeks. Um, so we were in the kitchen prepping Detroit dough, having fun with combinations of cheeses, perfecting that those beautiful Detroit red stripes, um, and really, you know how Sam does it. If he doesn't really love it, he's not gonna put it on the menu, and we really both fell in love with this Detroit pizza. So while we were in the kitchen, we were you know, joking around saying, what are we gonna call this pizza? You know, We don't wanna just make a Detroit style pizza, so I came up with, why don't we combine Detroit with our beautiful town, Massapequa, and we called it Topequa. So everyone has fallen in love with the pizza and the name and just the whole vibe around this style pizza. And they all have learned to call ahead, reserve their dough, because once they're made, we're not making any more, and they're gone. So once they're sold out, they're sold out. So we offer them on Tuesday and Wednesdays. Um, and if we have time to make a small batch, we'll make some extras for the freezer. So everyone who wants them on the weekend has that option to take them home frozen. And they heat up really well. So it's been a great new adventure with Depequa. We're having a lot of fun. Everyone loves it. Um, and you guys will see the making of it in the kitchen with Jimmy, the dean of Detroit style pizza. He does a great job. So our Detroit is a traditional Detroit dough recipe. It's light, it's airy, it's buttery and crispy. The corners have those beautiful crowns that crisp up. It really comes out amazing. Our homemade mozzarella that we shred. Um, we use a nice white cheddar and a Monterey Jack of the three cheeses that we blend and put on top so that bakes on really nice and lots of cheese on there. Lots and lots of cheese, loaded with cheese. Um, Detroit Red Stripes is traditionally a thick red sauce, which we season with oregano and Romano cheese. But the beauty of it is at the end, it's that delicious garlic infused drizzle of olive oil that he puts on top. It is so good, it smells, it just seals all that flavor together. That olive oil at the end is really what really is a game changer for that pizza. So when you put it all together, it comes out with a really delicious pie that everyone's going crazy for.